So we have already seen um, page pack print and page object model way of writing the framework. But there are a lot of other things also which which you have to do when you're writing your test case and when you want test data. So basically, today we'll talk about utility functions and property file. Property file. Um, what else? Uh, utilities are required. download. Download. So you want your downloaded file to be there in a particular location. It is also possible. What else? Um, again, running test from command line. Okay. Running test ng dot xml from command line. Enough. Enough coins to cover today. We'll try to cover as much as possible. Utility functions. So what are utility functions? When you are in your project structure, there may be case when you need um, as a test data or as a helper functions, um, you may need like today's date. It's possible, right? You want to fill the date, today's date. You want random numbers, right? A lot of things you need, right? So what you can do is in source main Java, you can create utilities. So that is not related to Selenium. That may be related to pure, um, what we say, Java programming. That will help in your test case. That's possible. Let's see what I'm saying. So let's create a package. The package name may be helper, helper utilities or you can give any name. I am giving this like helper utilities, okay? Finish. And here I'll create a class, which is just utility, okay? Utility. Utility and to finish. Here, let's do something. Let's say, uh, get get today's date time. Get today's date time, right? So I have that example already. Let me get that function, right? So this is get date. Let's assume I want this. There is a function which will, whenever you will call this, it will give you today's date in this particular format. Okay, something like that. It's possible. Or you want random number. And it's possible uh, in a text box in your automation steps. Let's say you want to fill a random number, right? It's possible to, to get the random number. But it is not Selenium code. This is pure like Java code, right? So let's search. Uh, how to get random number number in Java. Okay. How to generate random number. So Geeks for Geeks has one, one blog about it. How to get random number. You guys should see this and uh, understand it. I'm just putting it here. Um, so random utility has a random class. Utility has one random class, and uh, this is like uh, I I'll, I'll explain how it works. Let me first see this. So random will give you the random number between this and this. Okay, so it's like this. Let's go to the code. What it says. Let's create create a function public int because I want to return something. Public int get random get random number. Okay, 
and here first thing which i'll write is return x let's say integer x because of this fine return x. okay now there is a random class in the utility so what they are saying is you can use math dot random to get the random number that's it so let's say x is equals to math dot random okay x is equals to math dot random so the random function what it gives let me check first the random function gives you double the number as double okay yes so let's store it in double double y is equals to math dot random and let's print it system dot out dot print ln um y okay that's it that's it just to check this particular file just to check this particular file let's make a main function also so that you know then and there you are able to check whether things are working fine or not public that is void mean string ss bracket if you want to call this function how you can do it you will say utility utility u obj is equals to a new utility and we will call u obj dot get random number done this is the way you you create a object of the class and and you call a function so i just want to see 18th and 19th line actually how it works okay just just for you guys to show that what it is it is generating a number between 0 to 1 how math dot random works it generates the number a double number a decimal point number between 0 to 0.999999 it's like this okay so mathematically logically what you can do is it's very simple hold on if i multiply y by something so for example if I multiply y multiplied by 10. So this will always be a one digit number. Let's understand. Y is y is a number which is between 0 to 1. Correct. So if I multiply it by 10, it will always be a one digit number. Okay. Hope you are able to understand the point. So this will let me comment out that so now it will generate every time one digit single digit number see here 6.9 means the random number between 1 to 10 i want to say 2.3 every time it will generate a new random number between 0 to 9 0 to 10 basically with where 10 is not included see here right what i can do is I can typecast here means there's a there is it is generating something which is um integer it is gen it is generating which is double i'm converting it to integer okay so what i'm saying multiplied by 10 but then uh, give me the the number right don't give me the decimal point so this time okay let's print x now let's print x so this time it will generate the number between one to zero to nine see here nine has come now if i'll run it again six has generated so how simple it is math dot random will give you a number between zero to point nine 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 if you multiply it by two digit number it will give you a number from um what we say a single digit if i make it 100 so obviously two digit 
random number will be generated. Two digit random number. 77. 51, right? If I make it 100, now it will generate, it, it, I'll make 1000, it will generate three digit uh, random numbers. See here. Correct, 462. If I make it 10, one lakh, one lakh now. So this will generate a five digit random number. Done. Okay. So what we want? We want this. So it will return this, right? So you don't have to print this. You don't have to print this. Let's return it and we will use it. Great. Done. Same thing is with getting the date. So that that I copied it from Google, let's say, to to get to get the date in this particular format. Why 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 why? MMM means uh, like it will come as today is fifteen September. So this will come as um, two thousand twenty three SEP S E P fifteen then hours minute second. It's like this. So let's call this function. And uh, I'm calling it directly. So I'll say SYSO UOBG dot get date. Done. So let's see because that is returning a string. So it should print me the date. See here, it's coming. Done. So this kind of utility function and lot of other functions, right? Maybe you want to take the screenshot, right? Maybe something related to Selenium also you can do here. But basic thing is this is helper, helper functions for your test cases. So let's go to the test case. Where is my test case? Here. Uh, no, 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 not here. This one, we made test cases right here. The login page test. So for example, um, in one of your test case, you want to put a random number. So for example, let's assume instead of this password, right? You want to put a numeric thing. You want to put a, just an example I'm taking or a, Visible thing, I will show you. Visible thing. Why? Why we are doing this? Mm. Let's go to our website and we'll see what could be the better example. Okay. The so test dot checklist dot in. Mm. Login. And uh, in the email address, let's say I want to put some. Let's. Take it as of now. I'll go with. Okay, I'm putting a valid password here. Then I'm here. I'll close this. I'll go to the ceiling module. I'll go to the item. Okay. And uh, you can put a random number here. So let's say anything. 765 and I want to search whether it is present or not. That's a different story. But okay, to, to make it simple, let me log out here. So I'll take from here. So I want to put email address as um, email address as some random string. Uh, sorry, um, a today's date and password as, as some random number, right? So you can assume that that kind of thing will be required in some other test case also. As of now, it's for just for the training purpose. I'm filling this value with some 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 date, today's date, and this will be with random number. So how to get those things? Simple. Simple thing is I will go to my test case and let's create a fresh one so that we will not touch this so let me copy this and uh, i'll paste it here 
and validate error message when invalid credential specified. I'm just changing it. It's the same. Only thing is function name I should change. So we are here now. Now, these two values, you want to get it from somewhere else, correct? So obviously, you have to get it from, from another object, correct? Same logic, same logic. Here, you should have utility, utility. Utility U O B J is equals to new utility. When you do control space, automatically import and everything will happen. So if you will observe now, this class has an import utilities. See here, import from helper utilities package. There is a utility class. Now, so now in my test case, instead of passing this. Right. I will say uobj dot get date. Okay. And instead of this password, I will say uobj dot get random number. Also, let's make it more, you know, better, better, better. How you can make it better? This get random number, you can make it better. So you pass a number, let's say four digit, five digit, and then that many digits will be generated. So I'll say digit, digit, int digit. So basically, if you say four digit number, so it should multiply by 10,000, right? So there is an if else case. There is a if else case, correct? Mathematically, you have to handle it, correct? Mathematically, you have to handle it. So I will say switch, switch digit, okay? Switch digit. And uh, which digit is this case? One. If it will say uh, single digit number. So I'll say, I'll say, let's take one more integer here, int, int temp. And we'll say, in, if it is a case one, then temp is equals to 10. Let me copy this. So I'm considering only five digit number will be there, not more than that. We cannot, just I'm saying you that programmatically, you can think of a lot of things, right? And default. So default, you will say that um, system.out.println, um, you can't get, um, you can't get, or you, you 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 say you can get only, only, no, you can get random number, random number, one to five digits only. Okay, like this. So case one temp is ten hundred thousand. This will. Be one more zero. Done. So here it will be y into temp. And uh, by default, temp is zero. Done. And uh, you should put break also. Once it is done, it's a good practice to put break it in every case. In default, it is not required. Done. Case one is this, 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 done. So now in my test case, I can say get random number of four digits. It's like this. So I specify password, uh, change method to 
I'm checking this. Okay, specify, but this will give me integer, right? This get random number will give me integer. So what it is saying that, but your specify password is a function which accepts a string as a password, right? That's fine. Just add a string as a function, just for the, you know, training purpose, I'm showing you that possible. Now, let's run this. Let's run this test case first so that things will be here. So let's give the priority. Let's make it priority. Priority is equals to four. Let's copy this. This test case will be three. This test case will be two. And this test case will be executed first. So this will be one. Okay. Now let's run this login page test.java so that you will understand what is happening. Error. There is some. Okay. Let's see what is that error first. Let me stop it here. There is some error it is saying. Yes, yes, there is error. What is that? See here, there is a red bar here. There is a red icon here. Oh, because this get random number will accept, will accept, uh, you know, digit, like a, a value, right? So here it should be. In fact, this main function is not required. Let me delete it. Okay. That was just for understanding whether it is working or not. So error gone. Right click. Run as test. test. <clears throat> See here, date has come in the email one place, and uh, second place was those things. Okay, it is executing other test case as well. So just to show you, because it was very fast, it was very fast. Uh, let's put thread dot sleep this one so that you will see that everything is happening. So once you put, you are navigating to the login page, wait for some time, then you are specifying the email, wait for some time, then you are specifying the password, wait for some time. Let me make it six seconds just to show you that things are working fine. And this time we will run it and see the data is coming from the utilities. It's it's a Java concept. Okay. See, it has come. Password will be some random number. See here, we have generated four digit random number and underscore underscore, I have put it to make it a string. That's it. Okay, done. What is the second objective now? Property file. What is property file? Property file. So let me write it. Utility function. Why utility function required to get to get test data and and other helper helper. Utilities. When we say utilities, it's basically some kind of functions which will help you in your test case. Not just about test data. It can be anything. Property file. Uh, it's the same as config file, how developer uses the config file, right? So generally what you do here, you say, you say, this is my environment, right? This is my credential for my whole and other test data also you can put. Right. So generally, property file is used to save the environment. Browser, you can say browser, browser type, right? all those things. And let's try this quickly about the property file. And the concept is very simple about the property file is reading the property file. It's a purely Java code. So let's Google again and we'll say uh, read property file in Java. Let's see whether Geeks for Geeks probably will have some kind of blog. Reading and writing property file. We just want to read it, not write it. 
but it's good to have a blog about this. So we just want to read it, right? So let me search it again. We just want to read. I don't want to write. Just read. So I will do these things for this. Reading property files. Yeah, tutorials point has something. So you, so and, and everyone will give you similar kind of uh, stuff. Okay, I am putting it here. Hmm. <laughs> so it, it works with key value pair. So let's understand what this is. One by one, you will understand. And this is the way you should read any blog also. Okay, the properties is a subclass of hash table class, and it represents a persistent set of properties. Maybe when you read it first time, you may feel it's too technical. I don't know what it is, but you know, whenever you need something, read it first line to the last line of your blog, right? Try that. Second time when you'll read it, you will understand what it is happening. The properties can be saved to a stream of loaded form. Uh, a stream, each key and its corresponding value in the property list is a string. The properties file can be used in Java to externalize the configuration and to store the key value pair. The properties.load method of property class is convenient to load property file in the form of key value pairs. That's it. So what they say is there is a property file which extends hash table. Fine. Credential dot properties file. So let's create our property file and we'll say config dot properties instead of credential of properties. We'll say let's create a file and the extension is also properties. Okay. The file name is basically the the file name is also like properties of okay. um so let's create it where to create so what you can do is it's up to you but it's good to create in source test resources so here we will create a package let's create a package 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 name will be config config okay finish and inside that, okay, just let me delete this because it is resources. So when I said new package and I said uh, config, right? So it is creating a folder instead of package because generally it is expecting that you will not write any Java code here. That's why it is saying it like this. So it's fine. You can have that property in a folder also. Okay, it's fine. So I will say again, config. 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 Okay. And inside that, will create file the file name is file name is uh, project config dot p r o p e r t i e s properties finish we want to read this so what what is there in the property file we will have uh, URL is equals to uh, URL is equals to our our system URL, right? So that is test dot tech lib dot in this particular URL. So we don't want to put it into the you know hard coded way in the code. We want to get it from the property file. It's like this. Okay, then what else? Browser. Browser type is equals to Chrome. Then that let's say these two things. I want to save and I want to get it uh, in, in, in somewhere, right? In my test case, so it's better to put it into your uh, base test, right? Because from here you 
you can distribute it to your other um, classes, right? Because this is base test. So automatically what you have here will be there in your subclasses also. Fine. I'm going back to the uh, blog and it says that uh, you can simply say read property file test and property prop read property file. So there is a read property file. This function we need basically, right? This function we need, which will do our job. It's a very simple thing to give a file name and say that I want to read this file and um, then you can get the, let me, it's not going down, hold on, hold on, yeah. I want to copy all this things. Yeah. Great. So it returns prop. It returns the prop. And once you get the prop, you will get the data. Fine. So what I will do, you can do it at before suite level. That's fine. So let's put the function first here. So this is the whole function. What it does, once you will give the file name, it will read it, it's like this. So let's import something first. This property will be from util. This file input output is file.io. This exception you have to import. This IO exception you have to import. Done, error gone. So what it will do, whatever file path you will give, from there it will read and it will give you those properties. And property can be read through key value pair, I'll, I'll, I'll come to that, don't worry. It won't take much time. So here in the before suite level, I will say that, hey, I want the properties. I'll copy this. I will copy this just to show you basically how it works. I'll put it here. So I'm saying read the property file. It's fine for declaration as of now. And I just want to show you when I say system dot out dot print ln prop dot get property. The property is this URL copying this and uh, I want URL. Okay, what else I want? So I want browser type. This one. Let's see whether it is working. You cannot run base test. You have to run login base test to see whether it is working or not. I am running this. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. It should fail. And it's a good thing that it is failing. So it, it will say, where is that file? See here, it will show you that. Where is that? File not found exception, right? Because we didn't give, give the path of the file, right? So. Basically, this credential dot properties is not the property file. It is under config property config dot properties, correct? So you have to give the full path. So this is my con pro project config. But what is the path? So it's, I think it's a dot slash. Dot slash means you are on your project level. Then you have to go to source test resources. And then you have to give config file. It's like this, right? So you have to give the full path, right? So how to get the full path? You can right click and say, is it copy qualified name? Let me check it. When we do copy qualified name, what happens? Yes, it gives you the path how, which you can use in your program. So I will say, read this which is present at automation project, this, 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 yes. So that will be till this. Okay, save it. And now let's run it again. Login page test. I just want to print it, you know, before suite level things will, is working or not that I want to see. Uh, again, error, error. That's fine, getting error is good. 
we'll get to know what kind of file not found. It's saying that at that particular location, I am not able to get <laughs> the property file, right? So basically, there is a user directory. User directory means where you are, right? And you will get it like where you are, and then you can proceed. This is the better way. So user dot, I'm not able to get, let's Google it. Whenever you are in doubt, I know the concept, right? But the exact syntax I can search, uh, get present, present user directory Java. So where you are as of now. So it's system dot get property user dot dir. It's like this. Uh, yeah, I was doing the same thing, but 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 let me see quickly. User dot dir is the system property. You can get it like this. I was talking about this. Wait, same thing I was saying. That uh, let's print this. Okay, and let's not run this until we are very sure that what is my present directory okay so user directory right click run as no not this login page test we have to run and just to get this user directory our agenda is this i'll stop the execution i will stop it so this is C user. Okay, it's, it's giving me a big path. Yes, so you are in this path, user directory. Then you have to put slash. Okay, got it. So your, your, your property directory will be, let me show you everything. Prop file path is equals to the user directory plus that is the power of programming that you can do once you have user directory that means you are inside this project now inside this project i can say this path you are already there so i will copy this copy and go to here and say this and semicolon at the end Fine. Once you do that, here you will say instead of that, you will say, hey, go to my profile path. Done. And then let's run this. Done. Let's run login page test again. Hmm. We are able to read this. See here, I'll stop the execution. We are able to read two properties. One is URL, one is browser type. Okay, so how it has come in the properties file, there is a key value pair. This is key, this is called value, or this is called property, and this is called property value. Okay, so when you get the uh, things by saying, hey, prop dot get property, which property? URL, I can get it. It's like this, okay? Now, now let's see how we will use it in our code. 